that's called a Cartesian diver, named after Rene Descartes. It actually uses a, an eyedropper. So if you have one of those old glass eyedroppers, that's perfect for it. This, so this is just one of those old glass eyedroppers. Right. And if you take a look down here, I have a glass of water. Um, the glass, the eyedropper will sit here and it will float in the water because there's a little bit of air inside. So if you squeeze some of the bubbles out like this, and you pull some of the water in, it will just kind of barely float. Yeah. So that's the secret. You want it to barely float. Okay. Now I've got a soda bottle. So here's our soda bottle here. It's just a plastic soda bottle. And we can use any size soda bottle. For Absolutely. This, right? It's just easier a to big squeeze giant this one way. even. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to drop it in here like this. Notice it's almost full to the very top. That little part right there, it's almost full okay. to the very top. That's important. And close it up. And now you have a really cool thing because um, if you put water inside that little eyedropper, the eyedropper will become more dense and will sink. So watch this as you squeeze. Abracadabra. <gasps> I made you one right word. there. Here's yours oh, right there. Excellent. Right, So you get to play as well. So here is the, so it's a Cartesian diver. As we squeeze, water goes up inside and it falls down. Well, mine's now, really diving well. Why in the world would you ever tell a kid that you're squeezing? Would you ever tell a kid that no, you're squeezing? No, you would never no. tell And they're so, fascinated yes, by it. I grew up in the Denver Public Schools. And so the time I got in trouble in kindergarten was when, for a nickel, we could find out if you had a magnetic finger or not. So you just put <laughs> your finger by the bottle. And <laughs> so, some That's kids that good. you liked worked. And some, I had to return all the money. <laughs> but then you can't find these eyedroppers anymore. And so look at the modern day version. Uh, this is what our chemistry teachers are using, these plastic pipettes. Oh, Remember sure. using those yes, before? Yes, I do. Yes, so, chemistry, squeeze yes. Up. so here's what we're doing. The secret here is that you've got to weight them. So a little plastic uh, piece that's there and we oh. put a hex nut on it. So oh. a little hex nut goes right there. All right. So there's a piece and now we just cut off the end like this and we have ourselves a Cartesian diver. Fair enough? Are so we using, these, we're using this end, Yeah, right? so this oh. kind of goes down inside and the same thing will happen there. So I'll pop this one out so you can kind of see what happens. So this guy comes out and this guy is in and so this is kind of a modern day version version of the a classic Cartesian of diver. A, instead Get of it? an eyedropper. So, oh, so there, there you go. Is. Works we'll just go as well. Now, if it sinks all the way to the bottom, it means it's just been, a, it's just adjust um, a little too heavy. And so tapping uh, it will cause it. Oh, I see. Okay. So now it's almost like a barometer. So we could set it on Kathy Sabin's desk and eliminate that need for all the thousands of dollars. <laughs> so but can I show this you the one, favorite? Because this is very fancy. This is the same eyedropper, but I just put this lure over the top of it. So this is Squiddy. So Squiddy goes squiddy. down inside like oh, this. Oh, look is at Squiddy fun? go. How good is that? Now I'm going to show you how to really really mess with the kids. So what you do is this, is that you tell people um, that you want to borrow a hair. So you go like this. So you just, here, let me borrow it. I know your contract says don't touch the hair, but now <laughs> right. this could you wrap around like this and then you just pull. So you see how you pull it down like, and then you let go and it'll go back up and then you I'm pull again. You, is this good? Ages <coughs> two to five, you are the you are the hit of the evening. This They'll fun? just do it for hours. Oh, yeah, they're totally or they just hire the clown, either one. Or I just, I just go to a lot of dinner parties. <laughs>